Hi YouTube. In this video I'm going to be reviewing a couple of electric erasers. I thought I'd go ahead and prepare a surface here on this paper with some graphite powder so that I could, you know, demonstrate those erasers. Uh, while you get entertained with my very short uh, intro, I'm going to keep on doing this and I'll see you on the other side. Here is the package it came in and it just says here electric eraser black and I also happen to have one that's white so I'm going to share with you both of them but they come in this plastic package here and then when you open it up you have this really nice canvasy like pencil case stay away from me stay away from me hmm. not exactly the most positive message but hey what else do we expect the cactus to say yo quiero taco bell anyway let's just take a look at what's inside of this here move that out of the way before I get too dirty I see it comes with an instruction card but me being a guy I don't really read instructions right and we have this black stick electric eraser and it comes with a ton of these really skinny erasers which I am so happy to see and I'll explain why in a second and it comes with a whole bunch of these fat diameter erasers so I'm doubly happy and I will show you why in one second and then it comes with this brush which I guess is so you can go like this after you've left eraser debris all over the place so that's cool and then you have this nice little pencil case that you can keep all this stuff in there and I'm just gonna move that over to the side for now so let's take a close look at this electric eraser from AFMAT been reviewing a lot of things from AFMAT lately and so they were kind enough to send this it says here AFMAT there's the button it's already got one of those fat erasers in there and this is how you hold it like a regular pencil and that to me is awesome I like that because it's comfortable and it can give you better control but I'm going to test it out to be sure. Now it already has a fat eraser in there, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. You can see that it has this clip, which is pretty standard in these little battery operated electric erasers, so that you can then adjust your eraser to how long you want it to stick out, and then you press it back in, and there you go but this puppy needs batteries so you simply remove the back it's like a one-eighth turn very quick one-eighth turn pops off and it takes those AAA batteries two of them which so happens I have right here and you want to put them in negative in first see I don't need any instructions so simple to use and then you just press this thing down and turn to lock it into place now let's see if it works oh that's real nice and now let's test this thing out here I'm trying to avoid putting my my hand down on there and look at I just got I got dirty there so let me do this put this paper towel down okay there we go now Thank <laughs> you. 
there you go. It tests good. Now, this one here, compared to the two that I've tested before, you can see that it's a whole different shape. This here is shaped like most battery operated uh, erasers. Notice they, they are similar and here's one that uh, I'm going to be uh, reviewing pretty sh soon, Jakar. And you can, you can see that it has the kind of a weird shape. It only comes with a few erasers. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to do a review on that one right now. This has a lot of weight to it. This is very, very heavy. Uh, the Derwent is not as heavy as the Ohuku. Ohuhu, I should say. Ohuhu. Um, but how do they compare? Okay, they're not as comfortable to hold. I can tell you that because I have to keep my fingers apart more just to get my thumb to reach that. If I want to hold it like a pencil here, then I'm going to have to use my finger up here and then maybe back up a little bit, but now it's almost coming off my hand. So it's not as ergonomically comfortable as that uh, AFMAT. Okay, and the Derwent has a much slower sound to it. It's not as, it doesn't feel as powerful as this one. But it does good. All right, so how do they compare? The first comparison that I'm going to make here is that this feels more comfortable to my hand as a pencil artist because uh, you, you hold it like a pencil. So that's good. But what I will tell you is, whoops, it made the, made the paper shoot out. While they all do a good job in the erase, these here have more power than this AFMAT uh, racer does. However, uh, I will say though that I don't need this much power to get the job done with this pen. So if I was to reach for one of these electric racers to do my usual everyday erasing with an electric racer, I will pick up this AFMAT because I have more control with holding it like a pencil. So I like that. If you if you need to get in there and really like raise something really hard, yes, you can get it done. Like you can see here, I, I can get it done. But I'm not looking to damage the paper. And so I don't need this much power. This here is a little more powerful than this here, which is a little more powerful than this here. But I prefer to use this one because it just feels like a pencil. Awesome. Now, this is a black one, but you can also order this in white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the other case now, which should be come with the white. Has all the same stuff in here, but this time it has a white one. And I'm going to leave everything else inside because we've already seen what it comes with. And what I'm going to put in this one here is the thinner eraser. So, first thing is I'm going to remove this thicker eraser that it comes with and stick that in the little bag there so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to grab one of these thin erasers. For, great for thin details. There we go. And here you have this, this adapter thing that it comes with, this plastic adapter, and it's going to fit right in here. And you just press it in, and it gets in here nice and snug. I left it a little too long, so I'm going to pull that back out and push in a little bit more, just, just so it doesn't look too silly. Okay, and then push that back in. That was easy. Now this is going to need a couple of batteries as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
take these batteries out. There we go. That is stuck there for a moment. And I want to put them in here. All right. It's brand new, so it's it's like I'm not used to having these in here. Okay. All right, there we go. So, batteries are in. See how these work out. Now, when I was drawing the desert man, I had to do a beard with white hairs, and that's what I would use something like this for. So, look at that. Uh, this is gonna make quick. This is gonna make quick work of doing little white hairs. Is that cool or what? Look at that. All right, that's cool. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna sand some of this down to a point. Cause I got it too long anyway. There we go. I got me a nice little point there. And I can really do some hairs. Interesting. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Well, there you go. Now you have this white one and you have this black one, so you have these two choices that you can pick. Now, here's the interesting thing that I like too you have the thick erasers, which to me will work good in place of this manual one that I use here, which has a thick eraser when I want the electric version. Here we go. And as far as the thin one, well that's the electric version of my Tombow Mono Zero here that I use all the time. You see it has the small the small tip as well and this would be my electric version of the Tombow Mono Zero. So it is awesome that I now have an electric pencil type shaped electric razors when I don't want to use the same size manuals that I use all the time. And as for these, well, these will still have their place when I need to brute force erase something, but it will definitely not be in a portrait that I want to keep because it will destroy the paper if you're going to be using brute force. So that would be when I would use these as opposed to just using this with more finesse. And as far as the weight, these are lighter, much lighter. As a matter of fact, these two together is about as heavy as one of these. Interesting. So there you go, folks. You have the white and you have the black aft mat pin-shaped electric, and that's battery operated erasers and it also both of them come with both sizes of erasers so you get the adapters as well so I think they're awesome I'm happy to have them I will definitely be using them the most when it comes to needing a battery operated electric uh, eraser I thank you for watching this review uh, and if you like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and hey I'll see you in the next video. Awesome. Bye.